So now we come to which cells? Monocyte, right? We have what we have done up to now. You remember we are, just to remind you, we are studying white blood cells, and we have divided them into granulocyte and granulocyte and yes, please. No, a granulocyte or non-granulocyte, right? Granulocyte were divided into yeah. What were these friends? Neutrophils. And what is this place? The cinephil. And what is this place? Basophil, right? And non-granulocyte are divided into two. They are yes, kidney shaped nucleus uh, monocytes. And what is this? Lymphocytes. So we have discussed them. Now let's come there about the monocytes. Monocytes are also produced in the bone marrow. Is that right? And their percentage in the blood is somewhere between 2 to 10 percent. I have previously explained that monocytosis will occur when the percentage of monocytes in the uh, percentage of monocytes out of all the white cells in the blood is more than 10 percent. And monocytosis occur in, especially in chronic inflammations, chronic infections or chronic inflammations, monocytosis. Okay. When monocytes come from the bone marrow house, of course, first they jump into where? Circulation. General circulation, right? So they come into general circulation. In general circulation, monocytes survive about two to three days. And after that, they may shift to the tissues. Is that right? And in their tissues, monocytes are called macrophages and there they live for years and years sometimes. They have long life in the tissues, monocytes, right? Now, once monocytes go to the tissues, uh, different in some tissues, monocytes are present all the time. Even if the tissues are not inflamed, monocytes are present there, right? And there are other tissues in which monocytes go only when there is injury and inflammation, right? Now, the tissues in which monocytes normally go and take a permanent residence are number one, central nervous system. Monocytes go to the central nervous system and live there for long, long time they convert into special type of connective tissue cells, right? Actually, monocytes go to the developing neural tube. And when out of neural tube, central nervous system is developed, those monocytes which had, which had migrated to the neural tube, they convert into very special type of cells into central nervous system. What are those cells called? They are called microglia microglia, right? So microglia in the central nervous system are just monocytes which are taking permanent residence there. Then monocytes may go to, what is this tissue? Yeah, lungs, thank you for recognizing it. So sometimes in the alveoli, rather always in the alveoli, monocytes or macrophages are patrolling in the alveoli and looking for some particulate matter to phagocytose. Right? And these are called alveolar, alveolar macrophages. They are normally present in your air spaces in the lungs or in the alveoli. Then some of the monocytes take permanent residence in liver and there these monocytes are called, yeah, kuffer cell. Kuffer cells. Have you heard of kuffer cells? These are basically macro monocytes which have gone actually once the monocytes are out of the circulation they are called macrophages so we should say that the macrophages in central nervous system are microglia macrophages in the alveoli are called alveolar macrophages macrophages in the liver are called kuffer cells then macrophages if they go into yes lymph node or into yes spleen so what they are called? They are called histiocytes. Actually, macrophages which are present in all the tissues are called histiocytes. Histio means tissue, site means cell. So macrophages which are present in uh, almost all tissues, they are called histiocytes, right? But uh, the, for example, some of the macrophages are present in the lymph node sinuses. They are called sinus macrophages. They are called sinus macrophages. In the same way, you must remember that very big number of mac monocytes or macrophages are present in spleen, which are concerned with the phagocytosis of old RBCs, 
You know that, especially in cords of Billroth, right? So in the spleen also, a lot of macrophages are present over there, normally. Then macrophage love to shift to some other tissues, like if they shift under the skin, yeah, in the dermis. What are they called? Langerhans cells. Langer, L-A-N-G-E-R, Langerhans cells. Then macrophage love to shift to the kidney, and in the kidney they are called mesangial cells. Mesangial, yes, cells. And then macrophages love to shift to the, you have to recognize this tissue. Here they are called osteoclast. What are they called? Osteoclast. Osteoclasts in the bones are very special type of macrophages. Right? Then can you tell me macrophages in some other part? And of course, macrophages may go to the tissue when tissue is inflamed. When there is inflammation, macrophages are second to neutrophil to appear into inflamed tissue. So they are cells of neutrophil and macrophages. This combination is cells of acute inflammation. But if macrophages are with the lymphocytes and no neutrophil, then these are the cells of chronic, chronic inflammation. Right? So during inflammation also, monocytes shift to the tissues, right? Additional monocytes converting into macrophages in the tissues and what they are doing in the tissues, right? What monocytes are doing in the tissues, they have two, two three important functions. Number one, they are phagocytic cells. They are involved in phagocytosis. Normally macrophages, phagocytosis, old RBCs, uh, old platelets, even old other white cells. Then macrophages also phagocytose, bacteria or other particulate matter. Monocytes also phagocytose our injured cells or injured cells debris, right? For example, if there's some injury and many of your cells die, macrophage will come into tissue and remove the dead cell so that uh, injured tissue get rid of the dead cells and the local cell proliferate and replace the injured tissue, right? Lost tissue. So what is really happening, one of the function of macrophages is that macrophages are very powerful phagocytic cells. Then another very important function of the macrophages is they are very, very important antigen presenting cells. You must be knowing that macrophage uh, engulf some antigens, circulating antigens, process the antigens with class 2 or class 1 molecules and present to the T helper cells. Is that right? Here I must remind that all the cells in your body are having the capability to express class 1 molecules, other except RBCs. But only antigen presenting cells have capability to express class 1 plus class 2 molecules. And what are the antigen presenting cells? Number 1 macrophages. Number 2 B lymphocytes also act as antigen presenting cells. B lymphocytes. Number 3 dendritic cells, especially follicular dendritic cells. Number 4 all the derivatives of macrophages like Langerhans cells and others they have a capability to process the antigen and present the antigen with class two molecules. Is that right? Any question? So, and of course, you have to tell me, that do macrophages have any granules or no? Yeah, yes. They do have granules, non-specific granules, right? Which are having xerophilic granules also they call non-specific granules or xerophilic granules, the primary granules, right? Or so simply call them lysosomes. These are all one and the same type of granules. So these granules are present in monocytes as well. Is that right? Do you have any question? Yes. 